Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Just pinning what I'm making. I'm making some tostones with guacamole. Instead of flank steak or flat iron steak, I uh, picked up some, or I mean, instead of, whatchamacallit, oh my gosh, I am having like technical difficulties in my brain. <laughs> Anyways, I picked up some flat iron steak instead of um, some skirt steak because that was not available at the store. I'm gonna make some chimichurri sauce and guacamole. Who is ready for some deliciousness? I know I am. Yeah, I don't know, I couldn't find skirt steak. I was at uh, Fred Meyer and they were like, we don't sell skirt steak, so I was like, I guess I'll take flat iron steak. Um, I have been marinating my flat iron steak for a little over an hour. Um, my recipe calls for three hours. I just didn't get a chance to do it then. But you know what? Any marination is better than none. Um, and in order to uh, make, well, this is about to jump. Um, oh, I'm so happy to hear that she did. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hi guys, how are you? How's everybody's night? How's Tuesday night going? Um, anyway, so I wanted to give you guys a tip. Anytime you need to marinate any kind of meat and you don't have a lot of time, what I do is I will um, take the meat, pat it dry, and I will just use a fork and kind of stab it on all around on both sides. That way it can kind of um, tenderize the meat a little bit and let the marinade kind of seep in a little bit. Hi, Simona. Um, let me know where you guys are joining in from and we are gonna get started. Have you guys ever cooked plantains into tostones? Which is basically, uh, well, this is a plantain, green plantain. Um, oh, hold on, this is why it's like, sliding looks weird. There you go, it's like, it's sliding. It's looking a little weird. Um, so this is a plantain, it's in a banana family, but it's a lot harder, and we're gonna twice pan fry them to get like a nice crispy, kind of like a chip, but it's kind of gonna be like little mini tacos. Um, so I bought my plantains at Fred Meyer. They have them at, I think, pretty much every grocery store. Um, and oh, here, I'm gonna do this. And I would love to know if anybody's cooking along. So I know if I need to be like going slower or not. So let me know if you are. Um, Look at, look at that. I, totally looks like a banana, but it's a lot more drier. So I'm just cutting off the ends, putting that to the side. And now I'm just going to, yay, Holly, I'm excited. Um, well, you could totally cook another time. Uh, I will save this on my YouTube channel. Hopefully this will save for me because last live, for some reason, didn't save for me. So we'll see, hopefully. Hi. Francesca. You cooked early. Awesome. What did you make? So we're going to run our knife. Someone's in New York. I, I can read. Can you please go finish your stuff? Thank you. Um, I'm going to run the tip of my knife, and I'm not going to go all the way through. See? So you're going to go like this, and you're basically going to score it. I'm going to do that on both sides so it's easier for me to peel it. So then you just kind of run your thumb. Skirt steak with baby potatoes, yum. Did you use my recipe, Simona? Or did you just do your own? Love some tostones de maduro. <laughs> this thing keeps on wanting to jump off. I'm getting a new stand because this one's kind of been okay, not the best thing. Ever. I'm just gonna get rid of any kind of hairs. Um, I'm gonna do two of them. It's just the four of us. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I wish I found skirt steak. It's a lot thinner, which is nice. I mean, the flatter flat iron steak will be great too. And I'm gonna grill it. Did you end up grilling yours? Yeah, Trader Joe's Pini Mani for dinner. Those are really good. Um, I actually really like them. My family, not so much, actually. That's interesting because my kids love Pini Mani. They like Pini Mani from the Russian store. Um, so, unique bites. Um, I have it pinned right here. It says tostones with guacamole, flat iron steak, and chimichurri sauce. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut my um, plantains after I peel them into pieces about this big. So these are gonna get fried first. They're gonna get, well not deep fried, but like pan fried twice. Awesome, I'm excited. All right, let's cut these plantains. Wow, that's really loud. Um, now you're gonna need a pan to cook your plantains in. I'm using a nonstick pan. You could totally use a cast iron pan for this as well. I'm just like, what is going on? Turn on the light. And you wanna go medium high heat. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Pickled onions for the win. Okay, sorry, my thing is like not liking me. Okay, I'm gonna move, I'll move you guys closer in just a little bit. But I'm gonna get some light olive oil or avocado oil. You could totally use coconut oil as well. I'm just gonna cover the bottom of the pan, probably about like, I don't know, three-ish three, three -ish tablespoons. I have the exact measurements on their recipe. I'm just kind of eyeballing tonight. The stream is very, <laughs> very slow, so it looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm not. Um, all right, there we go. You could totally use some like bacon fat in here too. That would be delicious. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer to the pan so you could see. I'm gonna wait until this gets hot. Let's see, not yet. I'm gonna wait until my pan turns red here and it'll let me know that it's nice and hot. Oh, whoops, I'm missing all that. Oh yeah, I love the olive oil but um, bottles as well. Yeah, it's not, it's actually, it's actually not. It just has a very, very slow stream, so it just looks like there is a lot. But you want um, these to be, um, you know, submerged, I don't, whoops, where am I at? Like, like that much. I'm just gonna put these in. And these are great to make ahead of time. So if you make the first part ahead of time, and then when you're ready to cook, so if you wanted to do that for meal prep, whoops, escapey. You can do this for meal prep and do the first part. Actually, I guess you could do both parts, um, both uh, stages and then just reheat them in like a toaster oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these guys do their thing and we're gonna start making the guacamole and the chimichurri sauce. <coughs> and you wanna let these guys go until they um, brown and I'll show you what they look like. Yes, those are from World Market. Okay, I'm gonna make guacamole first. I have a bowl, I have a spoon, knife. I'm doing two avocados. And I mean, everybody has their own way. Hi. Um, everybody has their own way of making guacamole, so this is my way. And it's not the highway. <laughs> And I'm making probably a little extra guacamole to need it because, you know, can never go wrong with having a little extra guacamole. If you guys are just joining in, I would love to know where you guys are joining in from. Let me know if you're cooking along. So you want the heat to be like medium heat, not too high heat because you don't want to burn them the first stage. Um, so we're cooking some tostones, which are plantains. Um, and then, we're, so we're double double frying them in a pan. And then we're gonna cook up some um, flat iron steak or my recipe calls for 
uh, skirt steak. I just couldn't find any today because I just went to one store. Um, so what I'm taking, look at that perfect avocado. The avocados were on sale right now at Fred Meyer 445. So if you have a, awesome. I'm so happy to hear that, Abby. It's so good. Like it's such a easy recipe to make and you can totally pre-make this ahead of time. Uh, perfect for like little bite-sized appetizers or, you know, cut everything up and that's like your dinner. Serve it with a salad if you want. So what I'm doing is I kind of want chunky. I don't like very smooth guacamole. So I'm going to be scraping, but like getting chunks of guacamole or guacamole of avocado. Yeah, so it automatically makes guacamole by scraping. Good one. Okay, do that to all four pieces of avocado. Do you guys put tomatoes in your... Aw, thank you, Irina. Do you guys put a tomato in your guacamole? Yes or no? Give me, uh, give me a hands up. Hands up if you do, you do. Okay, I do too. I like the, the color and the flavor of uh, tomato in my guacamole. Not a lot, but I just like, I wanna, I wanna have a little bit of color. I think it's definitely like more of a color thing than anything else. Okay, I think these can be lit. So I'll show you guys in a second. Let me grab my tongs. Oh, I will, I'll share the tip with you guys. I know I've shared it before on how to buy avocados. Okay, so you want, so these are, got like a nice, sorry, I'm like plugged in so my phone can't go too far. This has like a nice color, so we're gonna flip these over. So this is the first part of cooking these guys. And then we're gonna let them cool for a second and then we're gonna smash them and then cook them again. So like I said, you don't want these to be super dark, so don't um, burn them because then you're gonna get that burnt flavor. Like this is the perfect, ah. So if it has a little bit of color like that, that's like a perfect color you're looking for. So I would say maybe medium low heat instead of medium heat fully. But you know, you have to kind of know how your stove is. If your stove is really hot, I would go a little bit lower. I would rather you go a little bit lower and slower than burn these right away. Okay, let's go finish our guacamole. Привет, как дела? Um, so it's in the fam this is what they look like in the store. It's by the bananas, um, in the family of bananas. They kind of have like a like a potato texture, so it's like a thick chip, I guess. But they don't they don't taste like potato and they don't taste like banana. I'm not even I haven't had any in a long time. I was just looking through my blog and I was like, what haven't I cooked in a long time? Um, they're you know I will let you know. They're not. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had them. Um, a little bit, but not like super sweet. There you go, sweet potato texture. That's kind of, yes, that is the correct, correct one. Thank you, Holly. Yes, there you go. You guys are super helpful and amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, onion. So this onion's not very big. I'm gonna do like, I don't know about this much. So like a, maybe like a quarter. Whoops. 
And I mean, if you like a lot more onion, add more onion. I just don't want to add too much onion. And I like to chop my onion super, super fine because I don't want to like bite. Some people like their onion to be like chunkier, but that's one thing. I want my avocados to be chunky, but not my onions or tomatoes. Like those I cut pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very thinly add in stripes into my onion so I can get like a nice chop and I mean fine I'll show you guys fine like that fine oh thank you all right so let's tuck those fingers in and chop the onion very very finely and you know what if you don't want like a super oniony flavor use some green onion I've used green onion if I didn't have um, regular onion and I always use sweet onion I don't use regular yellow onion uh, for cooking so I use uh, red onions for my pickled onions and then sweet onions for everything else I do not buy yellow onions or white onions none of that so let's just mix this in maybe an extra minute. I'm gonna move some of these around so the center ones are a lot more cooked than the ones on the outside. So like I showed before, I'll show you guys again. This is kind of the color you're looking for. Oh, I don't know if this is the best. See? So you're cooking them on both sides. And this is the first time you're cooking them, so you don't eat them at this stage. So think of like a twice fried potatoes. You're gonna get kind of that texture. But this is gonna be more of like a chip because we're gonna flatten these. They're gonna be so delicious. So that's gonna be kind of like your uh, taco, like mini little bite-sized tacos, but without being like a taco shape. Okay, maybe another 30 seconds and we are done. Aw, thank you. I think um, they're alive too. Thank you. You guys are just full of compliments. I love it. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. All right, so I'm gonna take some cilantro. Um, and my friend Mary Beth uh, from Heart of Celebration told me that, so I always pick off my cilantro stems because I just don't like the flavor, not flavor, but the texture of them in my food. But she said that the cilantro um, stems actually have a lot more nutrients and are a lot more flavor in them. So I'm gonna just chop, let's go a little bit. So you guys want to look at my boobs too much. I'm just gonna chop the cilantro, cilantro, really, really, really fine. Since the stem is in there, I don't wanna taste like a big chunk of the stem. Just rocking the knife back and forth. That part's done. I'm gonna turn off the plantains and put them on a paper towel plate. Because I want the fat to drain off. And let these cool just a little bit. Ooh, these got, some of these got hotter than I wanted them to. That's okay. This is what you don't want on the first stage, that. 
but that's okay. Multitasking sometimes gets you. They'll still be delicious, so even if you brown them a little bit more than expected, that's totally fine. You will live. Um, and what you can do is actually like cut off like a thin layer and refry that side if you like burnt a side a little bit. So I'm gonna let these kind of hang out. Aw, hey girl. I know, the, the cilantro tri uh, tip, that was awesome. Mary Beth is the best. If you guys are not following her, you should tuck her out. Heart of celebration. Okay, add some, a couple pinches of salt into the guacamole. So right now we just have onion, cilantro, two avocados, hi. Um, and I'm gonna add in my, oh, actually I should add in my lime. And I know I say this tip, and just in case you did not know, always, oh, a cilantro tip. So the, um, the cilantro stems and any kind of uh, herbs like this actually have a lot more nutrients and flavor than the leaves. So I always get rid of my stems, but my friend Mary Beth from um, Heart of Celebration told me that actually you should be using a lot more of the cilantro stem, um, or you should be using it because it has a lot more flavor and nutrients. So, you know. This one's for you, Mary Beth, if you're listening. Um, I always take my citrus and press down and roll because that releases the citrus inside. And I even kind of press it before I cut it. Makes it easier to juice. So I'm gonna start with half of lime. Oh, and then, oh, sorry, my nose is itching. I'll show you guys another tip that I like to do when I'm choosing limes. Um, so you know how some limes are like super bumpy? I'll show you like this one is like a lot more smoother. You know how some are just like a lot more bumpier? The smoother the limes to me, the juicier they are. So when I feel them and they feel really juicy, if they don't feel really hard, you'll get a more limey lime. Limey lime. That's English. That's language. Lena's language. I have a feeling we'll need two of those. I'm writing the full line, but I will taste it after I put in some tomato. And then another thing I like to do is I like to add in, let's see if I have a cut lemon. I, have to, I like to add in a little bit of lemon into my Guacamole. But just a little bit. Do you guys do you guys add lemon into yours? So I'm just doing here's a lemon, just doing this kind of this size. Just kind of adds a little something different. And I started doing that lately. Oh, um, the avocado tip. How to choose an avocado, yes. Let me do that. So when you guys are in a store buying your avocado. I actually picked this off. You know how the avocados have like a little pit thing? Not pit, but like a little stem. So A, feel your avocado. So today I bought avocados for me to use them today and tomorrow. Um, if I find avocados that are on sale, I will buy the hard ones and then I will, I will um, ripen them myself. But flip, off, like either pick off or flip off the little stem. And if it's, oh, this lighting is... So you want your, um, this one's actually okay. So you want this, this part to be as bright green as possible. So you shouldn't see any st like little dots how you're seeing there. This one might be uh, a little riper than I need it to, but I needed it for today and tomorrow. So I a little bit more ripe. Whew, I am hot. Sorry, I'm just fixing that. Um, yeah, so that's how I choose my avocado. And then if you want them for like today or tomorrow, make sure your avocados are really soft, not super soft, they're, they're mushy. Um, and then I keep my 
unripe avocados in the refrigerator and then when I'm ready to and I need them like in the next day or so I will put them like in a like a little container that has other uh, fruits in there especially like banana or any kind of citrus that helps it to ripen so if you didn't know those tips there you go and if you did I'm glad okay I feel like that might be enough citrus. Mm. Okay, needs a little bit more salt. And then let's cut up some of them. I do not have a tostón maker. Aw, hi. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut probably half of this. What is up there? We're gonna not use that one. That was a little strange. Oh, this one's like seeding or something? That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Okay. This tomato was like was ready to be done with life. So I had to use it up. All right, so I'm just gonna also cut my tomato very, very finely chopped. And some people deseed this and some people don't. I just don't even think about it. Um, I actually go on every single week. That's as much as I can do. Otherwise, I would not have time with my family at all if I did more often. I am on story, so if you don't get to see my stories, you should watch them. I think I'm pretty entertaining, am I right? For those of you who do watch them, if you don't. Aw, I am so excited to hear that. Thank you. Thank you guys, you guys are so sweet. See, this is, this is why I love being on here because you guys are just so amazing and I so appreciate all the sweet, Comments and you guys chatting with me because you know then I'll be talking to myself and we don't want that Woo. Okay Before I cook the those, oh, my eyes are twitching so much. I think from getting four hours of sleep, that was uh, no bueno for me. Mm. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's make the chimichurri sauce and then I'm gonna go grill the meat. I'm actually gonna go... Oh, you're welcome. I'm so excited that you got them. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that he likes the Zupa Toscana. Exactly. You can be in your pajamas with a glass of wine or tea or coffee or whatever. This is why I love doing this for you guys. Okay. I'm going to wipe this down. I'm gonna make some chimichurri sauce. And I like using flat leaf parsley, some cilantro, and then I'm gonna use some green onions. You can also use some chives. And I'm only gonna use um, the green part of my green onions because then it becomes too um, strong of a flavor for me, so PJs and wine. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Gloria. Okay, so I am gonna make extra chimichurri sauce because we love chimichurri sauce in my house. Like, if you have not made my chimichurri sauce and my pickled onions, you are missing out. You need it. Thank you, Danielle. 
it's so good i you know i made this recipe for when i did my whole 30 takeover a year and a half ago and I, that was the last time i made it. it was a year and a half ago so what's the difference between chives and green onions i mean uh chives are just they're a lot more milder in flavor and they're a lot smaller so it's not uh, like a young onion, green onion. It's just an onion family. It's not as strong, let's just say that. I didn't buy any uh, chives because I had green onions at home, so I did not wanna just waste food. So everything is just going to, oh, thank you. You should go, if you guys are not following me on Pinterest, um, check out Lena's Kitchen on Pinterest. And I have a Lena's Kitchen uh, folder so make sure you follow that and then you can repin those to your boards um, I have pretty much everything and you can totally pin things from my um, website as well but if you want to go and see pretty much everything that's on my blog pinned to my Pinterest no check out you post puppies Francesca's like tell everybody to come follow me too like you post puppies okay so I'm chimichurri okay so people ask me what's the difference between chimichurri sauce and um, what is the blended version uh, with basil uh, la, 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 la. Pesto. pesto thank you look at that my 10 year old knows that um, so the difference between pesto and chimichurri sauce a pesto has basil this doesn't have basil and chimichurri is chopped not yes well i don't add nuts into my pesto oh if you guys have not made my uh arugula basil pesto that's nut free oh it's so good like that you should just be making if you do meal prep or any kind or if you love fresh sauces that are super easy to make. I'm your girl for that. Mom, can I finish it tomorrow? My hands like are so sore. Okay, okay. well, yeah, I know. So now you should do whatever the next step. Fold them and start gluing them. No, I haven't finished cutting, but my hands. Okay, so stop cutting for today, whatever you have done. So start putting together. She's doing okay. 27 uh, handmade hot air balloon looking heart uh, oh, Valentine's cards. Yeah, you should do one and show them. Found it on Pinterest, I was like. I still have two more colors to go. Okay. Yeah. But I can't make them because I have to use all five colors. You can start with the ones that you have and then finish off the color that you want to add in. Okay making sure everything's finely chopped. So I started with cilantro. I'm gonna cilantro. add the... <sighs> if you don't eat it right away, uh, probably about a week. I mean, like I said, so whenever I make any kind of sauce, I literally use it for everything. Put it on your eggs, put it on your sandwich. Take some uh, uh, mayo and add that into mayo and use that as a dipping sauce. Um, use that as a topping on your chicken or add it to like an egg salad or chicken salad put on fish I mean it goes with everything sauces like fresh sauces like this is like my favorite I love that like I'm not like a dry rub person or like store-bought sauces so all about fresh herbs Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Next, we're gonna do the parsley. And I usually look at it, uh, look at the uh, greens, if they, or I mean the herbs, if they look clean, I don't, I don't bother cleaning them. But you can, totally, up to you. Hi. Okay, again, just chopping all the herbs super, super finely especially because there are stems in them. Oh, okay. For those of you that are 
what wine am I drinking tonight? Um, I had to open a bottle of wine for a shoot um, and it's uh, wine from Australia that my friend brought. I don't know, I'll have to show you guys a little bit later. What's the taste compared to, um, to what, Lily? You never tried what? Tostones? Uh, like uh, Holly said, it tastes like a sweet potato kind of. Privet, cook the long. I'm gonna add in the parsley to the cilantro. The sauce. Chimichurri is chopped, sissy. And pesto is blended. So I'm gonna use probably two of these big ones, but I'm only going to use the green parts. Just make sure I cut off any ends. Oh, so this is what the plantain looks like. It's sold by the uh, bananas. So again, chopping everything very, very fine. The last ingredient in the herb department is green onion, or you can use chives. Or if you're like not a cilantro person, you could totally just do chives or green onions and parsley. You can add some dill if you want, if you have some. Never curly parsley, please. I'm not a curly parsley person. Curly parsley is like 80s hair. 80s called and they want their herb back. That's how I feel about curly parsley and curly kale. Personally, but you know, you do you. Okay, I'm gonna grate in some garlic with my microplane. And I'll just do like one clove and see if it needs more. <laughs> I know Shay calls it like lemonisms, like the things that I say. You know how people say, oh, the darnest things my kids say. That's how Shay says it about me. <laughs> yes, I will do me. Yes. <laughs> We'll start with, I'll probably add more garlic, but I'll start with this guy. Sorry, I'm just getting the film. I'm just using a microplane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, girl. It does look like, you know what, down there on a body part. <laughs> That's so funny that you remembered. Okay, I think I'm gonna do another clove of garlic because you know, we love garlic. Oh my gosh, my nose is itching so bad. I have an allergy to black pepper and this is kind of what I get from when black pepper is around, but there's no black pepper. <laughs> All right, got this guy in. Now we need a little lemon juice. Ooh, that sprayed me in the eye. Well, no, not, not in the eye, in the neck. Okay, start with that much. Then we need a little salt and do an olive oil. And then that sauce is done. Then we're gonna go grill, put the meat on a grill. And then we're gonna smash our tostones.
So I don't like my chimichurri sauce to be super runny, meaning don't add too much. Um, Olive oil. So I'll show you the consistency that I tend to go for, but you could totally add more. Oh, that's awesome, Jeremy. I can't wait to see it. It's such a good, it's so good. Um, so I will save the live. Hopefully I'll save this time. For some reason, last week's live did not save for me. Hopefully, this time this will save. I'm just mixing this so I can kind of see the consistency of the chimichurri. So this, ooh, this is kind of what you're looking for. So see, it's like kind of chunky. My add, oh my gosh, I'm like flicking herbs everywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now we'll try it for lemon and salt. But that's it, this is chimichurri sauce, so. A little bit more lemon. Oh, no worries. Um, I just have to make sure I told them not to put any of my food. If it's in a sauce, it's fine. I mean, I just will be really itchy. Um, and I just saw them like, if you want me to breathe, oh, if you want me to breathe, please don't put any black pepper. If it's in a sauce and that's fine. But if they're like putting a whole bunch of black pepper on something in front of me, like I literally have like issues breathing. So it's gone bad. Ingesting is even worse. Like my eyes get swollen, my throat gets swollen. I haven't had like needed an EpiPen or anything. Okay, I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm cooking for my family, so same spoon it is. Okay, that's perfect. Our guacamole's done, chimichurri's done. Actually, let's do the meat last. So what I'm gonna do here, the tostones, so they look like bananas. This is what they we started out with. I peeled it by cutting this part off, this part off, scoring a little bit and peeling it. And then I cut them into about an inch round. This is them shrinking a little bit. Yeah, like I've been pepper sprayed pretty much. And then I just uh, pan fried it with a little bit of light olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, whichever oil you prefer, not olive oil. And now we're gonna smash these guys. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. You could probably use a, uh, this plate. I'm just gonna use a plate, but you could totally use, um, you can't unfortunately make the comments go away, sorry. Oh, here, I'll move this so you guys can see a little. Can you guys, is that better? You can see that better? So I just took parchment paper and I just put the, um, it is um, a Breville Express. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a flat plate and just press it down to flatten the, so we went from this to this this is what you're looking for and this is going to get nice and crispy this is going to be our vehicle for the steak the guacamole and the chimichurri sauce so you do like a two bite size um kind of thing um you could totally like serve these on the side have the steak on the side and have your guacamole and everything on the side or you can serve these for a party as an appetizer and maybe i wouldn't put the chimichurri sauce but i would just do like a tiny bit of chimichurri sauce because then that gets kind of all messy. But this is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of these. I just want an even flatness. You could totally use, if you have a, um, a tortilla maker, 
Or I guess there's a tostones maker, but I'm guessing that would be, that would be the same, right? Does anybody have one? I mean, that's one more gadget that I don't need personally. Because this works just fine. Could totally use a glass too, if you don't have a small plate. Awesome. All right. So yeah, you could, I guess you could totally use a, a uh, tortilla maker to flatten these guys. But I mean, this literally free, free and easy. And no needed for, especially if you have a small space or something. Halfway there, guys. Oh, yeah, I don't have a small cast iron skillet. That's okay, we're more than halfway done. I'm sweating. I think I need to take this sweater off. Oh, do you guys do anything? Yes, you can use the chimichurri sauce the whole week. Put them on eggs, put them on sandwich. I was saying put them on in an egg salad, chicken salad, mix it in as a dressing. These are for so many things. Put it on chicken, put it on fish. All things are possible. They're, it's really good on steak. It's one of my favorite sauces. I always, whenever I make steak, I always make chimichurri sauce. Seven more to go. I think I'm gonna start these and then go turn it on. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna fry them again so they're gonna become nice and crispy. And that's gonna be, like I said, the vehicle for your steak, for your guacamole, and then we top the steak with the chimichurri sauce. Okay, we got two more. Holly, how you doing? What am I doing for Valentine's Day? Um, probably working. Not much, we don't really do Valentine's Day. Um, I actually have a really pretty post coming out on Valentine's Day for a charcuterie board for two or four, whoever. Aw, spiceyba. <laughs> okay, thanks for telling me. You're gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna start I'm frying these. Then I'm gonna go turn on my grill. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more olive oil because you want But I mean, I'm just basically coating my pan. Let's see. You're welcome. I'm so glad you guys, this is literally so easy and you can just do this and use this instead of chips for guacamole. This makes it whole 30 approved. Um, so, and it's like I used, here, I'm gonna do this really quick. I used two plantains. And I mean, that's quite a bit. And the plantains, just in case you don't know what it looks like, it looks like a green, huge banana. And if you need to watch back how I make this. Back. Okay. There we go. Put you guys down. And this one. I'm gonna put this on medium heat. Medium high heat, probably. I'll put these guys down. 
probably need to do them in two sections. While these are frying, I'm gonna go turn on my grill outside a little really quick so you guys can, maybe Francesca can entertain you guys while I go outside. I heard that. Okay. Okay, so we got the plantains going and I put this on medium heat. And Miss Francesca Miss Francesca's doing her craft here. Actually, I'll just take you guys with me. So No, we did not get snow. We got rain apocalypse, not snow apocalypse. It's not even, it's like drizzling right now. Um, okay. Let's see if I can do this. I'm outside. Ooh. Hold on. Set you guys down. Sorry, this is, there we go. Turn on my, my grill. Let's go check on those. The stillness. I live in, we live in Tigard, which is like 30 minutes away from Portland. So, let's see these guys. I'm gonna turn up the heat. So these are gonna get nice and crispy and crunchy. I'll leave them alone. I think it needs a little bit more oil because Looks like they just kind of soaked up the oil. So you want to start out with not that much oil, but I can see they're not frying. Um, so it's coconut aminos actually, not liquid aminos. Well, it's coconut liquid aminos. It is not very salty. It's made out of coconut, so it's a little bit more on the sweeter side than the salty side. So think of it as soy sauce, but not as salty. So actually while this is happening, I'm gonna pat dry my steak to get it ready. And I bought some flat iron steak and I've been marinating it for two hours now. I am only going to cook one piece because it's just the kids and I tonight. These guys over here. I don't want to burn these, so check on these puppies. I'm just going to flip these guys over because I don't want to burn the tostones. Smells so good. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, I need some paper towels. I'm gonna pat dry my steak. It's been marinating in coconut aminos, some lime juice, and cilantro, and I ended up grating in some um, garlic because I felt like it. So I'm using a piece this big. Wow, that's not sexy at all. And I'm just gonna pat this dry because you want the grill, you wanna get nice grill marks. If you, um, I'll answer the fridge in a second. Um, if you leave your meat wet, it's not going to get crispy. You know how like meat gets like a nice crispy, uh, crispiness around it? You're not gonna get that. So you wanna make sure you pat dry your meat, and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it because I wanted to get a nice sear nut stick to my grill. So we want to marinate out, but a little bit of oil in. And since I know the coconut aminos is not super salty, I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle of salt and just kind of pat it in. And then literally going to take little drizzle 
of olive oil and get that all over. Hold the same thing. Um, I, so you can, I think you could totally bake the tostones as well if you don't want to fry them. So just FYI. Aw, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Hi. <laughs> okay. I want these nice and crunchy. We're getting there. So yeah, I think baking them, I should do some research because I think you can bake these so you don't get as much, you don't need as much oil. Ooh, I wonder if I try them in the air fryer. I'm gonna try that. I have, a, I have one left over so I can totally give that a try because I bought an air fryer and you guys, if you don't have one and you like wings, they're the best for wings the air fryer. Okay, I think this batch is good to go. I might do the second batch because we don't need that much tomorrow so they're fresh and crispy. And then I'm, I'm guessing if you want to heat these up after, if you've prepped this and you've cooked them twice, just put them in your like toaster oven and reheat them that way. I feel like this would be great for breakfast with some eggs on it with the steak and chimichurri sauce like guac. Don't you guys think that would be delicious? Okay, I'm gonna go, let's go put this guy. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to. This is weird. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hmm, that's awesome. Yeah, I feel like I should make them a little bit more often. Getting that steak on the grill. Where's where's that accent from? Oh, we're gonna get kicked off in two minutes. Well, I am. I'm just gonna pop this puppy on the grill um, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I'll show you guys what this looks like on stories so make sure you guys come back and check out the final product on stories because I'm not gonna do a live for like five extra minutes so here's the tostones Ooh, nice and hot. We got the chimichurri sauce. We got guacamole. And then we have steak cooking on the grill. So what you're going to do is you're going, once this cools off a little bit, we're going to put a little bit of guacamole. We're going to put a slice of steak. And I put a little bit of uh, chimichurri sauce. So it's like a twice sauced steak. And it's going to be delicious. So... Um, I would say I'm going to cook the steak for probably three-ish minutes per side. And I'm going to let it rest for about five minutes and I'm going to cut it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So make sure you go check out my stories after and then if you're on YouTube, you know, do the whole subscribe and share and like and all the things. There you go. My children know how to go. I know, but this is going to kick me off in literally 20, 20 seconds. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining in, and I will see you next week. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter because that's where I share what I'm cooking on lives now. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys on stories and show you what it looks like. So make sure you go check it out. Have a good Tuesday.